I lied. Your haircut makes you look like a man. Best of Reddit Confessions Episode 3 I know a secret that I wish I didn't. Years ago before I met my significant other, he applied for the police academy in our town. He never heard from them to report for training, so he figured he wasn't selected and moved on with the intention to try again later. Years pass, we meet, he builds a career in another field, we start a family. He hears that the police is actively recruiting and he goes for the physical. He passes. I mention in passing to his mother that significant other is considering joining the police department. She pauses and says really? You'd let him do that? I threw his acceptance letter in the trash when he applied the last time. She begged me not to tell him. She was worried about her boy going into such a dangerous profession. I told her he can never know, and I wish I didn't. He would never forgive her. I am conflicted because of my feelings toward my mother-in-law, who has been so kind, generous, and supportive and more like a mother to me than my own mother. I'm horrified and I love her despite her actions but I'm careful with what I share with her. I lied. Your haircut makes you look like a man. Why the hell would you get a buzz cut? I know, I know, it's cool and trendy. But what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm just supposed to pretend that you don't look like a man? And, of course, if I say anything negative or protest in any way I suddenly become the bad guy, how dare you try to control my body? Why on earth would you think that this was a good idea? The feeling of running my hand through your prickly hair made me want to vomit. I'm so angry at you for doing this. Part of me honestly just wants to break up with you and start again with another girl who doesn't do stupid stuff like this. Your hair is going to take months to grow back. I date women because I am attracted to femininity and all of the things that come with it. If I wanted to be with an overly effeminate gay guy then I would be. I take care of you and do stuff for you all the time but you can't keep your hair long for me? This was so stupid and inconsiderate. I don't regret lying because you'd be furious if, told all of this to your face. I just hope that this is a dream and I'll wake up any minute. I've kept a secret from my parents for the past 23 months, and I'm going to tell them tomorrow. I have a fiancé that my parents would certainly not approve of, and it's been tearing me apart for the last year and a half. I met my fiancé two and a half years ago, and tomorrow will be our two-year anniversary together. We're planning on getting married this August. I couldn't be happier with her. She's funny, smart, loyal, she loves me to death and I feel it every day, and on top of all of that. The problem? My parents and I are Chinese immigrants. My mom and dad have a strong dislike for black people. My fiancé is black, and she's an immigrant herself, from Ethiopia. For the past two years, my parents have been trying to introduce me to various Chinese women and obviously, since I've brushed off all of their friends' daughters, they're starting to even suspect maybe I'm gay and don't like women. They've spent tens of thousands of dollars to put me through school, they paid for my living expense during my five years of college, not to mention raising me into a grown-up. Now that I have a good job, an amazing girlfriend, and ready to move on in life, I fear tomorrow will be the end of our family. There is no way I'm going to give up on my fiancé, I can't see myself growing old with anyone else besides her. Big day tomorrow, wish me luck. I got a married woman pregnant. Years ago. I met her and her husband while waiting in line for a screening. Sat next to each other. Became friends. They want kids but he's sterile. She starts talking to me about getting me to impregnate her. Says I am good looking intelligent personable. I spend a month thinking it over. Agree because there is some shadiness with those clinics sometimes, at least with me she knows exactly what she's getting. Both me and her husband are white with blue eyes and brown hair so less likelihood of him ever having even a passing thought that it isn't his kid. Whenever she calls or texts that it's safe, we meet to have fun. She gets pregnant. He calls me with the news, he thinks he did it. A miracle. When we meet he is literally crying with happiness. I slowly distance myself from both of them to further reduce the chance he finds out. Married couple that wanted their own kids but couldn't now get to have the family they wanted. I didn't do it for the fun. I wanted to help out. It's nice to have been able to do something. I have fun with my wife's sister for the past year. We are both married with kids, but our spouses don't put out. My wife and I started dating when we were 18. Her sister has been dating her husband since around the same time we started dating. Her sister is 37 and I'm 32. There has always been strong tension between her sister and I. The innuendos always seem to get stronger and stronger. At one point when we were both just dating, 
her sister told me that she was going to break up with him and that she wished there were two of me, she said things like that for a long time. Fast forward to about a year ago. We both have two kids. Her husband has not wanted to have fun with her for two years. My wife has not wanted to have fun with me for probably three or four. When we do, it's routine. Her husband was at work, my wife was at a hair appointment, and the kids were all playing in the yard. Her sister and I got to talk about it one day. I said something like do you realize I haven't gotten a fun job in 6 years? She responded with well I haven't gotten fun in 7 months, so there. We were both in the kitchen, the blinds were down, and the sliding glass door was on the other side of the room. I just went for it and kissed her. She reciprocated and it turned into a 10 second makeout. She just smiled and goes how long have you been thinking about doing that? I go about 15 years. She goes me too. Then she goes just to be sure. Nobody needs to know of course, I said of course. She texted me that night and said she had been thinking about the kiss and how exciting it was because it was probably not the right thing to do, etc. We went back and forth on text for probably an hour. Well a week later, I stopped over there with the kids at 6pm during the week. Her husband works 7am to 7pm and has a 30 minute commute. My wife was out shopping with her mom. I get over there and we start again. And yeah, it happened. We have been having fun since then. Two to three times a week or whenever we can. We have had fun in both of our houses, cars, restaurant bathroom on one occasion, you name it. I don't regret this at all, neither does she. Nothing has changed in our families. We are just both getting the fun we deserve. I have no intention of stopping having fun with her. I'm in a casual relationship with my ex's little sister. My ex and I were together for five years. We broke up in late 2014. Her little sister and I attend the same university, she's doing her degree and I'm doing my postdoc, so we occasionally see each other. We are not particularly close, so most of the time we just smile and nod as we walk past each other and sometimes we exchange a few words. However four weeks ago we were both getting lunch in the food court and we struck up a conversation. We ate lunch together and we exchanged numbers because I agreed to give her some of my notes. Later that night I sent her some of my notes. A few days after that she asked if I could help her understand some things. We talked over Skype but we were having trouble communicating so I agreed to go to her apartment to help her the following morning. We wound up having fun that morning and then again a few days later. We both enjoyed our time together and we agreed to continue doing it on a regular basis. She is a little young, but she is beautiful and I really like her. I'm a little confused because I'm not sure whether what I'm doing is wrong or not. I'm also not sure if my ex would be upset or whether she would just brush it aside. We're both in agreement that our relationship is casual and that we will keep it private, but I am a little worried about her sister finding out. For an entire year, I would finish in my roommate's shampoo bottle. This was almost 10 years ago. I studied in a boarding school in Europe and I had a private room with a shared bathroom. So anyways, my roommate was such a bad person, he would take things that are not his. He broke my MacBook just because he thought it was funny, would use my stereo all the time until it was taken away because he would always have the volume on high, and various other things. As I said before, we had a shared bathroom, so whenever I would shower, I would finish in his shampoo bottle, or at least try my best to get as much in as possible. I did this for a year without him noticing, and every day when he comes out of the shower I would feel proud of myself. I have no regrets and looking back at this situation actually makes me laugh. I promise you I'm not a bad person or even disgusting, but he deserved worse. I accidentally had an online relationship with my brother on here. Then kept doing it even after I found out. I am a 24 year old female and my brother is 27. Around 2 years ago when I first joined reddit on my old account I posted to certain subreddits a lot. I am fairly confident in my body and didn't mind showing it off at the time. Now that I have a boyfriend, however, my tune has changed on that subject matter. I post at least twice a day and get a bunch of messages. One guy kept commenting and messaging me, telling me I was hot and how much he loved my body. For some reason I kept talking to him and we basically developed an intimate relationship and texted all the time, but we never showed our faces. He was very nice and sweet to me even when we weren't talking about fun. Keep in mind that I was always very private about my identity because I didn't want anyone to blackmail me. I even made up a name and location as to where I lived. I thought it was a bit weird that this guy had the same name as my brother, although my brother is very good looking and 10 out of 10, and lived in the same state, 
but figured it was simply a coincidence. For his birthday a few months after we met, he sent me a pic of himself without a shirt on and his magic stick and told me he wished I was there and asked me if I liked the new tattoo he got for his 25th birthday. But I was. In the living room downstairs. Celebrating my brother's birthday. His 25th one. It was the same tattoo my brother showed me earlier that day. It was the same bathroom. Same shower curtains. Same hair products. Same perfume. Same toothbrush colors. Same everything. I was mortified. But I didn't stop. My brother really is a hot guy. I couldn't help myself, so I continued to text with him for a few more months until I told him I had gotten a boyfriend and could no longer do that with him. He understood and we went our separate ways. The worst part? I still check his pics on occasion. My unattractive nice guy friends with benefits rejected me, and I hate him for it. About 10 months ago I, 23 female, started having fun with a guy friend. For much of the time, two years, I've known him, all he ever did was whine and complain about how women ignored him, how all his crush's friends owned him and how he'd been treated like a social pariah. He'd say girls brushed him off because he was too much of a nice guy, yes, he literally said this. Frequently. He also very often complained about his looks, he's maybe a 5 on a really good day, and his height, he's around 5.6. He's 32, has only ever had one girlfriend in his life, and that lasted all of 4 months and prior to me, had only had experience with strange women off those meet and have fun sites, bar his one girlfriend. When his male friends warned him that maybe his standards were too high or out of his league, he used to say all he ever wanted in a girlfriend was someone who was cute and loyal that was into him. When I started sleeping with him it seemed like a perfectly reasonable idea. He had been in self for several years and I, being a late bloomer, hadn't had a lot of experience outside of my ex-boyfriend of one year and was looking to explore my body without screwing my way through half my city. He seemed like a safe choice. In the beginning it was great. He stopped complaining so much about everything, became motivated to get his life together career-wise and often said I was a very positive force in his life. He told me at least a dozen times that I really made him happy and confident, I often praised and complimented him to help raise his self-esteem. Also, the fun was amazing and I was learning all sorts of new things. We went at it like rabbits constantly and he would spend hours worshipping my body. Around the 6 month mark I realized I might be catching feelings. I tried to ignore it and it worked for a short while but it became increasingly hard to do so. We were spending the majority of our time together, if I wasn't at his place he was at mine, and spent days at a time just hanging out at home playing video games, watching movies and being silly. If we weren't doing that, we were going out dancing or to dinner, bars, etc. He even invited me on a two-week vacation with him and we had a blast. The whole trip he kept telling me how amazing everything was and how glad he was to have me there. When other guys flirted with me he would get jealous and upset. So, like a moron I assumed all signs pointed to him being very close to asking to make things official. Well, that didn't happen. After finally getting the balls to make my feelings known the other day, he pretty much made it clear he wasn't interested in a real relationship with me. I was crushed, yes and very much hurt but most of all I was confused. He always said all he wanted was a girl that was cute and loyal who was into him, right? So of course he'd wanted to date me seriously. Not only did I check all the boxes but I surpassed them. I'm slim, attractive and was good to him. He was constantly saying how I'd treated him so much better than any girl ever had, that he was so lucky to have me in his life, that I'd made him into a better man, etc. And yet, he was blowing me off. This from a guy who'd been openly rejected or ignored by almost every other woman he'd ever had a crush on. It's amazing. It's not even an issue of ego or pride for me. Because oh, by the way, the reason he doesn't want to date me is all because I don't have big enough boobs and I am not Latina. I mean wow. I got rejected by a former incel who was really willing to throw away something real for the fantasy of some big boobs Spanish chick. Thanks for listening to Radio TTS, hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell for more videos. Click the right box for the Radio TTS playlist and let us know what the next video should be about.